Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be working on the barn again, on our old bank barn. Today we're going to try to work toward getting electricity out there. So uh, this here, this is the meter base for the farm side of this property. And we're going to be running electricity from this panel here. We're going to be running it all the way down here to this old bank barn down there. So it's going to be, I think, it's going to be somewhere around 335 feet of trench and so i've got 360 feet of wire so i've got enough for about 10 or 15 feet of wire on each end uh, to be able to get in into the electric box uh, here on this end and to be able to get it down into the lower level of the barn to where we're going to install electric box on that end so we're going to put the the wire in the ground we're probably going to go about two feet deep in the ground and i've rented a trencher today so Hopefully this trencher works. I was going to rent a larger trencher, but it wasn't available. So I've got this little walk behind trencher. Supposedly it'll go up to three feet deep. Uh, so hopefully we can run about 340 feet of trench today with this walk behind trencher and hopefully it'll work okay. Um, there is going to be a couple things I'm worrying about. So there's some old trees like the old burning tree back there, the old tree that caught fire. Uh, that is right next to where we're going to be trenching, so there's probably some old roots in the ground. So I'm afraid as we go through this section right here, there will be some roots that we may have to contend with. And I don't know if I'm 100% <laughs> you know, uh, sure that this trencher will be able to tear through those roots. So some of those trees are dead. Hopefully they're rotten enough this trencher works. But that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, I've got this as a daily rental. I picked that up at seven o'clock this morning. It was about a, it was $150 for the rental. I have to have it back by five o'clock tonight. So I need to get this trencher up and going and start uh, digging some trench. So let's get started. So I've been trenching now for about 45 minutes. I'm already halfway to the barn. So this, this little walk behind trenchers actually worked out pretty good. I was a little skeptical when this was the only one that I could get. Um, but it actually seems to be a pretty handy little trencher. This is actually a gasoline powered trencher. Uh, most people got gasoline if you it, laying around if you got a yard. Um, and it came on a, on a trailer. I was able to just back up to it, just, just bring it down here. So it's super handy to get. It's small enough that it should fit in between buildings and stuff fairly well, so it seems to be a pretty handy trencher. I was a little worried about how fast it would trench and uh, how powerful it would be, but it seems to be doing well. I mean, I'm already halfway done, so pretty satisfied with it so far. So I did rent this trencher for a full day, and I probably almost, I might have got away with a half a day. I'm not for sure. So, I mean, I'll have it trenched to the barn here pretty soon. But I'm not just running power to the barn. I'm actually running power to two other spots too. So this lean-to right here, I'm actually going to run power uh, from the same electrical box. I'm running power out here. I'm going to put a, an outlet and a light right here at this lean-to. So I have power and I have a light here if I need it. I'm also running power uh, back here behind this tree. There's a big concrete pad. There used to be a house there that was falling in when we bought the place. We tore it down. And there's this huge pad that used to be a house. Uh, I'm using it to burn brush on right now, but 
I'm going to use it as a parking area. I'm going to eventually park air, tractors and equipment in that area. Don't have to worry about weeds growing around them and stuff. And uh, I've got a light pole, a used light pole that I'm going to put up in that location. So I'm running power over to where I'm going to put this light pole where I'll have a, another light and an outlet in that location. So any places that I can add power along the way, I might as well take advantage of the trench and uh, run some additional power while I'm at it. So we'll just have to wait and see whether um, how long it takes me to get this the long trench done and then I've got two side trenches to do. But I think this is going to go pretty quick. The only thing I'm worried about is just running through these roots on this tree back here. Uh, whether because there's an old big tree right there and hopefully uh, I'm going to be within two feet of it. The roots are going to be large, but hopefully they're they're already rotten and we're just going to get going and uh, see how well this trencher does on these large tree roots. But hopefully they're rotten enough that we'll be able to just keep on going and get this trench done. So I've been trenching for about four hours now. That uh, the, the hardest struggle was near that tree and all them roots. It just uh, it just took forever for it to kind of chop through them. And there was some it just didn't didn't seem to want to get through. So I had to end up using an axe and try to bust those roots up a little bit so that the trencher could could chew through them a little bit better. And uh, past that tree we ran into rocks, but they didn't really cause as much uh, trouble as that tree did. All those tree roots. So I'm complete with all the trenching. So I've got I've got a trench coming over right here to the the lean to here, so I can put electricity on lean to. I've got a trench going off to the side back there, so I can put a light pole up over there. And uh, so we're done with the trencher. So this trencher, being a small trencher, does not have a blade on it. Some of the bigger ride-on ones will have a push blade where you can push the dirt, so you can push this dirt back into the trench. Um, but this one's just a walk behind. It's so small it doesn't have it. So there's no reason to keep this around anymore. So we'll probably just load this up, take it back to the rental place. And then uh, when we get back from there, we'll start laying all our wire in here. And then we'll use a tractor to push the dirt back in the hole. This here is the wire that we just got done running in the trench and this is gonna give power to our barn out here so we're gonna hook it up in that breaker panel on that end we're gonna hook it up to a breaker and it's gonna send 240 volts out here to feed another breaker panel so we ended up running a total of four wires so we have two wires for 240 volts we have a neutral and a ground now since that was such a long distance that's probably gonna have 340 to 350 feet 
of wire from that breaker to this breaker box when we're done. And over that grade of a distance, you end up um, you you end up with resistance and you end up with a voltage drop. And so you have to upsize your wire. And so we had to upsize this wire to two aught aluminum. And even though that two aught aluminum is normally rated around 125 to 150 amps. Uh, given the, the distance of this, we're going to only end up with about 60 amps of power out here at the barn. Now, even though it's 60 amps, that's going to be plenty of power to be able to run uh, lights. We're going to use LED lights in the barn. It's going to be enough power to run um, any outlets and any heated waters that we need out here. So I don't think that 60 amps is going to be a problem. Well, I think that wraps up today's project. Uh, I've already gone inside, I've got cleaned up. But you can see I've got the trench filled in with dirt. So I just used the tractor blade. I just used it backwards to help kind of push the, the dirt in the trench, you know. And uh, this will settle over time. I may have to kind of tidy this up as it settles. But I do have my wire in and it's ready to be hooked up. So I'm hoping to come back in like a week and get a breaker box in that barn and get a lighting circuit in the barn and help get the, the barn lit up so that it's nice to be in it at night because right now we are still using we're still using flashlights and uh, rechargeable work lights to to put the goats and the chickens up at night so it'll be great to be able to go out there just flip a switch and light up uh, the entire barn on the inside so um, that'll be great when we get this done but this is just to give you an idea of the cost of this, this isn't cheap. So I ran four out aluminum. I ran, uh, it was a quadruplex, so it was four wires out to that barn. And it was 360 feet. So that was about $800. It was right at $800 for that wire. And then the trencher was $150. So I'm right almost at $1,000 just to trench over to the barn. So... You're probably looking at a 340 foot trench and of course you want extra wire at each end you know to be able to hook it up but um, it's not cheap if you have to run power a good distance that's why the electric company when they set your meter or whatever they either put it against your house or they try to keep it within 100 feet of your house because you don't have to worry about the voltage drop and upsize the wire like we just had to do um, so it's not it's not cheap you know if you need to run electricity so keep that in mind um, somebody's gonna mention why didn't I just do solar so solar um, I would have probably had to have bought a good charge controller and you know a good an inverter and then I would have had to bought all the batteries so I would have had I could imagine that I would have had close to maybe five thousand dollars just in getting a solar set up in this barn. So I think it's gonna cost me more to do, it would have cost me more to do solar. The other reason is, is I'm gonna be running heated waters and anytime you heat with electricity, it's not efficient. It takes a lot of juice. So I don't think that solar, anytime you have solar, you really don't wanna to try to heat with it. You don't, you don't wanna use electric heat. So that's not, that's not a good combination. And then there's also down the hill from the barn, there's an old well. Uh, house there's an old well house down there and I may try to 
put a new pump in that and run electricity down to that well in the future so I wanted enough power here at the barn as well that I could run down and uh, power that well so those are the reasons why I'm not going solar I've I've looked into solar before in the past just to let you know and uh, with power already on the property it's just not, it doesn't make sense to make that kind of investment uh, because even though this is going to cost me $1,500 before it's done to get power in that barn uh, by the time I buy light fixtures and, and wire and stuff, it'll still be way cheaper than it would cost for me to try to do the solar. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, stick around. More to come. Uh, we'll be getting some power to the barn and got a lot of other things going, down, going on around here. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is the part that everybody likes. This is B-roll. This is B-roll. <laughs>